Yo, what's going on, sexy seven? What is going to do? We're here doing a ranked one v one, and there is a new patch going to be out very, very shortly, which nerfs or not nerfs, but changes. Um, <clears throat> what is it called? It changes. What is this item called? Sphinx's bobble. So, because it's going to change Sphinx's bobble from sixty percent down to fifty percent. I figure, you know what the best thing to do right now is? Try to get a 60% cooldown Hades game in. Because it is going to be as litty as a titty, boy. I'm going to go Aegis. Yeah, I'm going to go Aegis against the Hebo. It's interesting. I almost never fight Hebos anymore. I don't know why. He, Hebo still does a lot of damage. I guess probably because his... Shrouded in shadow I don't know. My he gets outranged, outpoked. Something like that. Gotta be something like that, right? Uh, He's not showing up. There he is. Hello. My Amazonian king. I gotta make sure I keep hitting him a couple of times so that minions can broke for me. So I get solid clear out of it. And I'm gonna just fear him so he takes a couple extra archer tower or tower shots, a couple extra archer shots. Because archers at level three do incredible damage. And yeah, I uh I wanted to do this 60% cooldown Hades game for two reasons. One, uh, if you've ever been to my stream, which, by the way, in the bottom left of the screen, there's a bunch, or I'm sorry, bottom right of the screen, there's a bunch of socials there, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Twitch. Make sure you guys go follow there. There's <clears throat> a bunch of cool stuff on there every week. Uh, on Twitch, I stream every weekday, sometimes on the weekends. And, uh, yeah, so it's really cool. But if you have been to my Twitch channel... You know that there's a guy there named Lee Prime. I'm not going to say his real name, obviously. But uh, his Twitch name is Lee Prime. And he has given a lot to the community. For me, specifically. And uh, he really wanted to see a 60% cooldown Hades. And I kind of waited till the last minute to do it. But I'm still here, dude. I'm still, I'm still ready to kick it. I'm still ready to try it out. So... In typical Sam Dude fashion, when it's pretty much the end of my feasible options, uh, here I am. I'm doing it. And by feasible options, I don't mean like like videos I could have done. I just meant like like Bobble will be changed. I think tomorrow. It's either tomorrow or Wednesday. I don't remember, but it will get changed very soon. And I just want to, I want to make sure that he gets the video that he deserves. I will only grab two of this and I'll run out. I don't need too much gold. I need like what? A hundred? No, I, well, I need 250, but either way, I just need one wave to finish my Kronos Pendant, <clears throat> which should not be that difficult. I, I kind of want to see if I can go in and kill this Hades, but like... He just ults my ult, right? And then I... Yeah. And I can't kill. That was stupid. I should have just held my ult because... I mean, I know I'm going Chrono Spin the next item, right? A blessing so why not just hold the ultimate? Herself. Why not just hold the ultimate and then use it when I have an extra 20% cooldown on top? That was, that was dumb of me. That was big, dumb, stupid idiot. By the way, uh... You guys probably have to turn up your volume a little bit in today's video because I'm not yelling like I normally do because, well, quite frankly, it's 1 a.m. And uh, I can't sleep. And normally, it's a it's a problem for me. I never really am able to sleep too well. But um, normally I have sleeping pills that I can take. That don't worry, they're just over the counter stuff. But normally I have them that I can take, and uh, I don't, so I can't find them. So I'm awake. I figured, you know what? Instead of wasting my my night playing 
Kharkov and waking up at <laughs> two in the morning or two p.m. and not having a video out at ten a.m. for you guys. I figure, what if I just pumped one out Shrouded at one a.m.? I'm naked. Eyes. Well, I'm not naked. I'm in my my good old Mario undies. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. You didn't need to know that, but I am in my I am in my undies, and that is why there's no face cam on. Also, announcement. Um, many of you know I'm getting married in November, but uh, I have Shiv's birthday September. My mother and my sister's birthday in October. Um, and then I'm getting married in November. And then I have my birthday, my brother's birthday, and my dad's birthday all in December. And then in January, I'm going to Worlds, baby. I made the decision. I, I wasn't... I didn't know if I wanted to go to Worlds with everything that was going on. Damn it. With everything that was going on in my life. Because, you know, having... 17 birthdays and a marriage and potentially a honeymoon and also a cruise and just like so much shit going on at the end of this year. I wasn't sure if I wanted to make the beginning of next year hectic by also traveling to Texas and stuff, but uh, I think it's worth it because the last Worlds there was was well, it was 2019, right? So... And that, dude, I think the last Worlds, I had like, like 80,000 subscribers. Like, I don't think I had 100k subs when I went to my last World, my, my last World Championship. So, there's a lot of new people here that I'm sure are going to go to Worlds. And I'm sure some of them, maybe two or three of them at least, want to meet me. And uh, it would be stupid for me not to go. So, I am going to go. And I am excited about it. I mean, first off, I am excited to see Texas because I've been thinking about potentially moving there. Um, but also, I just, I think Worlds is going to be cool. All right, you don't have your alt. How do you have your alt? <clears throat> How do you have your alt, though? Bro, like, I shit you not. I have 20% cooldown, and you're out here with... Oh, you have blue buff and Sands of Time. You also have 20% cooldown. Okay. Never mind. It makes sense. But, regardless, don't hit me. My point is, I'm excited to see you guys at Worlds. And I hope you guys come, man. I'm excited. I'm excited to meet new people. I have 30% cooldown. So I need something to take me to 40. Oh god, I have the hiccups. Something to take me to 40, and then I gotta pick up a blue buff. Which will bring me to 50, and then bobble, which will bring me to 60. So I go... Can I have that blue? Damn it. You have ult? Oh, he doesn't. Oh, no. No! Oh! My God, I would yell so loud if it wasn't 1 a.m. right now. And it's on video. God damn it, dude. If that doesn't prove everybody's a human, I don't know what to tell you. That's ridiculous. I've literally hit number one in the world every single season since the beginning of the beta in this game. And <laughs> I just missed an auto three times. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me? Alright, let's get your ult. This is cool. You don't want to fight this. I promise you don't want to fight this. Actually, you're kind of tanky. Perfect. 
Perfect. Big kill. All right, we're gonna go staff of Murden. And um, destruction. I don't know. I could go blink, but I feel like <laughs> you know what? Hear me out. <laughs> Hear me out. Just, just don't make fun of me yet. Hear me out. What if I placed a ward here, killed him, back? Okay. I killed him. I backed. I bought an item. I teleported the world to the ward and then I cornered him. That would be Giga Chad territory. Bro, I do straight up no damage to this guy. Which I don't understand because I have 200 power. Which should be more than like... I guess actually my ult did hit for almost 600. I take it back. I'm actually doing damage. Hello, minion. Don't hit me. Oh, he got a Chrono Spun in too. I wonder if he's going to go 60%. Oh, he actually backed. I was not expecting him to finish that back. I don't know why. I just really thought he would stay. There was nothing in his behavior that struck me as like, yeah, this guy's definitely going to stay and fight. But I just genuinely felt like he would. Damn it. It's going to take so long to get this tower down. And I guess I could do Bull Demon. Um, I don't know. <clears throat> Excuse me. The only thing with 60% cooldown builds is it takes so long to get online because it's all you're allowed to build. Like, I have 20%, 30%, 40%, 50% with my blue buff. And then I'll go Bobble, which will give me 60%. I Thankfully, my build with Boomba's Hammer was going to give me the last 10% um, once I'm level 20, so I don't need to rely on blue buff all the time, but still. And it looks like he's keeping his eye, or at least a ward, on uh, Bull Demon. So that kind of sucks. Where's Bobble? It is. 2,700. Thought I was going to go in on you. I will. I'm, I will not. Is what I meant to tell you. Um, am I scared of you? No. I'm chilling. There we go, boys. We should be 60%. Oh my god, bro. I get a 5 second 3 and a 5 second 2? No shot. 10%. 20%, 30%, 40%, 50%, 60%. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Those are some speedy cooldowns. Now imagine, just for a second, that Boombas wasn't hella nerf. Oh, I just realized my damage is going to be so garbanzo beans right now. Actually, so garbanzo beans. All right, you all. I'm going in. Oh, okay, good Aegis. Good Aegis. You can't be mad when they play well. I mean, you could be, but it'd be annoying of you. I really want this blue buff right here. My problem is he's going to see me at half HP and then not let me get his blue buff. Okay, never mind. I take it back. 
Perfect. Boomba's acquired. I now have 70% cooldown because of Boomba's. It says I have 50. Why does it say I have 50? I don't know. Whatever. My hunger cannot be sated. Um I someone in my stream actually was telling me that they nerfed Bobble already to 50%. But then it still says 60% on it. And so they nerfed it to 50%. But they didn't change the description. But then another friend of mine went into jungle practice and was like, yeah, man, I did the math and it's 60%. So I, I believe my friend over chat. So I assume it's still 60%. I don't know, man. Maybe I'm incorrect. Or maybe my... Maybe my uh, informants are incorrect. Oh, I want a poly so bad, dude. All these autos. Here we go. I really wonder. You know, Boombas is actually still giving me pretty good cooldown. Honestly. Alright. I would go Polly here. But. What if instead. Strong Polly. I bought teleport. I warded his Phoenix. I teleported into that ward when he's in middle lane. And backdoored his Titan with the extra protections I get from teleport. Would it work? Almost 100% certain that it will not work. For the main reason that I do almost no damage. But it would be entertaining. And, I mean, I'm going to win this game anyways. I think. Boy, wouldn't it be... Uh, from the king. Wouldn't it be something if I lost? Oh, I think I'm... I mean, I'm, I'm full build Hades. There's no way I lose this game. I'm too far ahead to lose at this point. A blessing from the darkness Did he just down. sentry my sentry? And break my ward? That rat. That absolute rat. How dare you? Who do you think you are? Now, I would sentry in the same place. But I don't want him to freaking take it. So instead, I'm going to sentry over there, my little corner. And I'm going to do Bull Demon. That's not how this is supposed to work. Oh my. Nice. I teleport over here. Like the extra 20% movement speed and protections. So I can go in and go buck fucking wild on this Titan. There we go, boys. There is your 60% cooldown teleport Hades. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, I love you guys. Thank you so much. I hope to see you guys at the World Championship this year. Don't forget to follow my socials. 
and peace.